Bradley and Janine here, we're 9 to fivers who love to travel to explore different places, try different food, and experience different cultures. Last month, we decided to rent an RV to see what life on the road is like. In the short adventure, we stopped at Manitoulin Island, the largest freshwater island in the world. On day one, we visited the Little Current Walking Trail, Bridal Vale Falls, and Manitoulin Brewery. This time, we'll share with you what day two was all about. Good morning! <laughs> and it's freaking cold! <laughs> yeah, it's cold. So I'll show you guys where we're parked. Just right here at the parking lot. No one has arrived yet. Pretty empty. Yeah. This is where we slept last night and we slept like a baby. Um, we're gonna make, well, I'm gonna make a big breakfast today because we're gonna go hiking. So making hot dogs, eggs, and some nuggets and have some rice so we have some carbs to fuel us for the entire hike and obviously this guy's gonna eat his turkey and vegetable blend raw food for breakfast and he's also gonna hike with us we're almost ready we just have one thing left to do which is to move the rv down to the other parking lot so it would be easier for us to leave once we're done um we're just gonna do that right now and then um we'll be off to go <laughs> hikes of this trip is the Cup and Saucer Trail. It has a strong cultural relevancy to the indigenous community. The Arrowhead, one of the lookouts in the trail, is the place where Nana Bush let down his spear points while fleeing Iroquois warriors he had been tormenting for countless of generations. Nana Bush is a spirit and a figure in Ojibwe storytelling, including the story of the world's creation. Stories of Nana Bush speak of his great teachings but he is also known for being the trickster figure aside from being a cultural hero. now we'll see what it looks like in the girl uh, in the parking lot wow so many cars <laughs> wow oh look at our our RV is trapped man around four and a half hours is because there were multiple lookouts and we stopped a majority of them and um, yeah also after the hike we just got back to the RV drove the RV to the beach and saw the space in the parking lot and I think the perfect size for the RV I didn't think we parked on a parking lot we parked on a picnic area <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and we had lunch, we took a nap. Well, we took like an hour nap. <laughs> Two hour nap nap. And yeah, we decided to just chill because the ferry that we're going to be taking from here to the tour group from here to the tour is at 7 and then we are an hour early, which means that we have to be.
Beach is the most well-known beach in Manitoulin Island and is often referred to as the best beach in Ontario. Early native inhabitants of the area, the Jagways, called the place Bebiko Dawangong, and I really hope I said that right, which translates as where the beach curves around the water. But then we just realized literally like a minute ago that we won't be able to eat dinner up until 10 p.m. If we don't eat now because the boat leaves at 7 and it's a two-hour-ish um, ride. So we're going to get there around 9 something and then we have to drive to get to our parking to stay overnight. So very, very quickly, this is what we're having for dinner. Just some frozen hot dogs <laughs> and bread. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll stick to that and we'll probably eat another meal when we get to our parking spot overnight. So very very quickly, gotta cook this and then turn it off because we have to turn off the propane. And day two has come to a close. What a great day! When we arrived at Tobermory, we drove to Lion's Head Provincial Park and stayed there for the night. See you Monday!